Hey, this is The Real Cat Gone Crazy and I'm here in London to play Onrush by Codemasters. So, let's check it out. You may well be thinking what I was thinking, and that's, oh cool, I'm looking at Motorstorm 4. And you would not be entirely wrong. Onrush is being developed by Codemasters Evo, and the Evo stands for Evolution, the same Evolution Studios that were sold by Sony despite making one of the greatest racing games of the generation, Drive Club, and, a decade ago, Motorstorm. You can see Motorstorm's DNA running through everything here. Cars are racing alongside bikes, they crash into each other, boost to insane speeds, and of course explode in a shower of sparks and debris when they crash. But it's fast, easily twice as fast as Motorstorm ever was. You can even ride up the canyon walls. It's pretty awesome. But, and it is a big but, this is not a new version of Motorstorm. Why not? Well, for starters, it's not a racing game at all, not even slightly. Despite the tracks going around in laps, there aren't any race modes in the game. It doesn't count your laps, it doesn't matter if you're ahead of the pack. Instead, this is like a highlights reel of the bits you remember best about Motorstorm. The tightly bunched pack at the start of the race, the feeling of knocking someone into a beautifully rendered rock formation, and the sheer glee that comes from pressing a boost button. All of that has been condensed down to make every second of Onrush's gameplay feel like those moments you loved. And unlike Motorstorm, if you do crash, you just get reset back at full speed and in the middle of the pack, ready to exact your revenge. Keep them in sight. If you get left behind, you're given a brief countdown to catch back up, and if you don't, the game does it for you and throws you straight back into the middle of the action. So when it isn't a race, such blatant hand-holding that would destroy a racing game simply doesn't matter. Oh, and when the round is over, you just keep driving. A countdown starts up immediately, and then you're back playing again. So it's all non-stop, breathless action. Everything you see here was captured from a PS4 Pro dev kit running at 1080p and 60 frames per second, though I must point out it's still in beta phase. In other words, it's not finished yet and things can change. The team was very frank and explained all their design decisions in a short presentation before I played. It was very refreshing to hear the devs talk about their inspirations for the game and not have them all be Codemasters titles. Their influences include classics like Outrun 2, presumably for the Hit the Cars minigame, Overwatch, SSX, Street Fighter V and Burnout, along with Motorstorm of course. I'd say Burnout is the second biggest influence on the game after Motorstorm, as it features both takedowns and boost chains. The takedowns are great fun, especially in multiplayer, but perhaps lack a little weight at this stage at least, though of course stomping down on an opponent's head with a vertical takedown never gets old. Well, at least till it happens to you. I think newbie drivers will absolutely love Onrush because it lets them do what they want to do, and that is hold accelerate, hold the boost button, smash into other people, and experience huge air and a great soundtrack. In that respect, it's very much the arcade experience that's been missing so much from modern driving games. But unlike classic arcade games of the past, like Crazy Taxi, Daytona USA, and pretty much any other Sega title you could mention, I'm not seeing where the depth is going to come from. The best arcade games may feel very different between the first time you play them and the thousandth time you play them because of the immense depth of control and game design that was put in there by the developers, but I'm not sure Onrush will. I think it's going to play pretty much the same the first time you play it as the thousandth. I'm sure the vehicles have got their own perks and there's potential for winning around by feeding your team boost power or blinding your opponents with a Bayonetta-esque vortex. That's all cool but currently it feels a bit throwaway. Massively slick, of course, but throwaway nonetheless. It's slick because this is the newest generation of Codemasters Ego Engine, and it's looking pretty darn hot. It can run the game at 60 frames per second at 1080p, or if you've got a PS4 Pro or Xbox One X, you can play in 4K. They're gonna give you at least the choice, although I reckon the Xbox One X at least will be able to do 60 frames at 4K, but we'll see. 
Either way, the screen is always full of insanely detailed cars. Sometimes the camera swoops through the cockpit and you get a glimpse of the dashboard readouts. It's gorgeous. And Ego's rewind tech is now used for instant replays of every wipeout from your opponent's view instead of letting you correct mistakes, which of course this kind of game it just wouldn't work in. The damaged model's destruction tech is now ramped up with fully deformable vehicles, probably because they're not licensed. And although the impacts happen really fast, so it's hard to see the extent of the damage, if I slow down the video here, you can see that it's really good and bodes well for future grid and dirt titles. I do feel a little let down perhaps that we've got one of the best developers in the business making an arcade styled racing game the likes of which we haven't seen for a long long time and yet there's no racing in it. It's, it's a little hard to swallow I must say but Onrush is doing its own thing and that is cool so it's a bold statement trying to redefine what arcade racing actually means. Uh, if taking the racing out of that actually makes it a better game then that's going to be awesome. So I do look forward to seeing what the finished game is like. But there is a part of me that does wish they just put in a little racing mode just on the side, just for people like me. That would be awesome. And who knows, it's still at beta phase, so perhaps they'll add that in. Either way, I'm going to have more Onrush footage for you as soon as I can get hold of it. So do look out for that on my channel. Also, if you're interested in seeing more of what I recorded at the event, I did make a crash montage. All these crashes you see on this video here uh, were just taken during gameplay, so they weren't set up at all. This is what actual crashes are like, so do check that out. If you like what you're seeing, please hit like and subscribe. Do by all means tell me what you think of Onrush in the comments. It's always great to hear from you, and I'll see you again soon. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. Cheers.